This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 641, Seven Reasons You're Not As Successful As You Could Be, by Mark Chernoff of markandangel.com, and I'm Justin Mollick. How's it going, old friend? I say OLD, because OLD stands for Optimal Living Daily, the podcast where I narrate blogs for you every single day, including holidays. And before we get to today's post, thank you to Talkspace for helping to keep this podcast alive. Talkspace is the online therapy company that lets you choose from over 1,500 licensed therapists. Get matched with your perfect therapist who can put you on the path to a happier life. So for a special offer just for you, visit Talkspace.com slash OLD. Now let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. Seven Reasons You're Not As Successful As You Could Be by Mark Chernoff of MarkAndAngel.com Quote, the difference between a successful person and others is not a lack of strength not a lack of knowledge, but rather a lack in will. Vince Lombardi. Feeling down about your forward progress lately? Do you feel like you're running in place? Need some motivation and tough love to help you reinvigorate your success rate? Well, here you go. Seven reasons you're not the great success story you could be. Number one, you do a lot of thinking without acting. Too often we think without acting. We do nothing with our ideas. Everyone who has ever taken a long, hot shower has had many great ideas. I'm sure you can relate. But you'll only make a difference in this world if you get out of the shower, dry off, and do something with them. The only way to conquer your dreams and doubts is with action. Wondering about them will not get anything done. Avoiding challenges will only make them grow bigger. If you wait until all conditions are perfect, you will spend the rest of your life waiting. Great achievements are made by starting from exactly where you are right now with exactly what you have right now. Stop wondering and start doing. Once you've made a little progress, you'll always know without a doubt that you can make even more progress if you try. Read 1,000 Little Things. Number two, your creative mind is completely unfocused. Constraints nurture productive side of the creative mind. At first, it might seem as though complete freedom makes all creative ventures more attainable, but this isn't the truth. Complete freedom makes the possibilities endless, but keeps your efforts scattered and unfocused. Often, self-imposed constraints or boundaries force you to think differently about challenges, leading to more practical ideas and innovations. Instead of thinking outside the box and looking in every possible direction, get inside one box, a specific problem that needs a resolution, a smaller space where big changes can be made, etc., and focus your creative attention on making a difference. These boundaries create the foundation from which to launch a productive, creative effort. It's like pushing off from the ground when riding a skateboard or from the wall of the pool when you're swimming laps. Having something solid to push against allows you to move forward with greater ease and more power. And over time, as you test these boundaries by pushing against them, you figure out which ones can be broken and expanded and which ones need to remain fixed in place. Number three, You are focusing too much on fears and defeats. Your problems are really your blessings if you use them to grow stronger. Never quit just because you feel temporarily defeated. You have not been beaten. This is not a competition. Keep working to be the best you can be. It doesn't matter how slow you go so long as you don't give up on yourself. In the long run, it usually isn't what you have or where you are or what you've been through that makes or breaks you. It's how you think about it all and what you do next. Focus your conscious mind on things you desire, not your fears and defeats. Doing so brings dreams to life. Read, Awaken the Giant Within. Number four, your expectations are crushing you. Drop the needless expectations. Appreciate what is. It doesn't matter if your glass is half empty or half full. Just be thankful that you have a glass and that there's something in it. Choosing to be positive and having an appreciative attitude influences everything you do. The magnitude of your happiness and success will be directly proportional to the magnitude of your thoughts and how you choose to think about things. Nothing ever works out exactly the way you want it to. Hope for the best, but expect less. Appreciate reality, don't fight it. Don't let what you expected to happen blind you from the goodness happening all around. Even if it doesn't work out at all, it's still worth it if it made you feel something new and if it taught you something new. Number five, you've become distracted from your core goals. People might tell you it's impossible, but it's not. Though the challenges may be great, you can make things happen. The odds may not seem to be in your favor right now, but you can change the odds. When something difficult you want to achieve connects deeply with your purpose, it becomes possible. 
When you are driven and committed and persistent, you will get yourself there step by step. So look within yourself and unearth the values and goals that you most earnestly feel a deep connection with. In the end, it's the things that are genuinely important to you that will power your greatest achievements. Read the 52-week Life Passion Project. Number six, you are playing it too safe. Pain is a pesky part of being human, but it's vitally important. It strengthens the mind, heart, and body. You can't grow strong, brave, or successful in this world if you've only had good things happen to you within the safe boundaries of your own little comfort bubble. You need real life experiences, and nothing ever becomes real until you experience it firsthand. No matter how long you train yourself to be strong, brave, or proficient at something, you never know if you are or not until something real happens to you. So get real, experience life, and let it teach you what you need to know to conquer your wildest dreams. Number seven, you've been resisting forgiveness. Alexander Pope once said, quote, to err is human, to forgive, divine, unquote. Nothing could be closer to the truth. Your willingness to forgive yourself and others is the greatest sign of your emotional and spiritual maturity. It's a process of acceptance and understanding that allows you to let go of a situation that's over so you can move on with your life. The key is to be thankful for every experience, positive or negative is taking a step back and saying, thank you for the lesson. Take a moment and imagine if every person, including yourself, who owed you an apology, apologized today. And imagine if you accepted these apologies. What a weight lifted. Now imagine if everyone, everywhere did this. How many problems in the world would evaporate? You just listened to the post titled, Seven Reasons You're Not As Successful As You Could Be by Mark Chernoff of markandangel.com. Thank you again to Talkspace for sponsoring this episode. Talkspace, the online therapy company, makes it easy to connect with an experienced, licensed therapist that you pick based on your preferences and for way, way less than traditional therapy. And what's really cool is that you can send your therapist text, audio, and video messages, or even do a live video chat. And Talkspace therapists are fully licensed and go through a rigorous screening process Plus, they've done thousands of hours of supervised professional training. So to match with your perfect therapist, go to Talkspace.com old. And as a special offer for our listeners, you can use the code OLD to get $30 off your first month, all while showing support for this podcast. That's the code OLD, and you can use that at Talkspace.com OLD. Talkspace is the therapy for how we live today. Thank you for listening all the way through and every day I'll be back tomorrow with a post from Joshua Becker. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us, and remember, your optimal life awaits.